So without further ado, I've kept you waiting long enough. Here is my new car. <laughs> Finally, today is the big day. Welcome back to another video. I know I haven't uploaded in a week because obviously I've been selling the Civic. Long story short, I took deposit for the Civic and then about a week later, I didn't want to accept cash for it without checking the cash and it kind of just went wrong. So I didn't end up selling it to that person. Put it up for sale for a little bit cheaper, literally yesterday and it sold yesterday. Um, so I dropped it off in Bradford. Obviously the Civic has gone, bless her. The Civic is, is no more, she's gone. But today we're gonna to pick up the new car, finally. Obviously you guys, if you're patrons, you know what the new car is. Uh, it's an absolute beast, I can't wait to get it. So yeah, we're gonna hit the road, drive up to Leeds, uh, quickly check the car, send payment, and then the car is mine. So really looking forward to today. Let's see, it's been a stressful week, so it's kind of took a bit of the excitement out of it for me, but I think as soon as I see the car, I'll be very, very excited. So yeah, let's uh, let's hit the road in Dad's trusty new car, which this was the Patreon video that I did. This is Dad's new car, very nice. Let's hit the road, let's go get the new one. Bomb squad diffuser. <laughs> Father, a few words about the new car. Um, it's white. Right. And uh, fast. <laughs> Cheers for that, thank you. Currently stood in front of the new car. Oh my God, I hope you guys like this as much as I do. It's a very, very clean car. Like, like I said in the Patreon video, obviously in the Patreons will know, I literally set out to find the cleanest example of this car according the color I wanted. And to be fair, I didn't actually know that they came in this color. I saw this one, it was absolutely immaculate, and I just thought, right, I have to have it. The day I saw it on um, the day I saw it on Gumtree, I literally came that night to look at the car and then put a deposit on it. It was it was that simple. It's absolutely immaculate. I'm I'm honestly buzzing to get it. So yeah, just transferred the money. Um, waiting for the guy to come now. He's just on his work. He's just uh, he's just at work. He's coming on his work break. Uh, sign the logbook. Insurance is transferred over. So yeah, it's fully insured. Sorry, I can't stop looking at it. Insurance is uh, it's fully insured now. So yeah, just waiting for him to come, sign the logbook, and uh, we'll go get some clips of the new car. Buzzing. Opinions. Very nice. It is nice, isn't it? Everyone said that you didn't seem too fussed on it in the first video. I don't get excited about a car, son. <laughs> Why not? Just what if there was your 2.8 litre Capri sat there? Would you get excited? Probably oh, not. My turbo probably. one that I had. Yeah. Or my RS2. And look what you're in now. <laughs> it's nice, though, isn't it? It is really nice. Nice. really nice. I'm I'm looking forward to getting some clips of it. What do you reckon to your new uh Honestly Mini, mini Metro son? I'm not gonna lie, Civic for a track car. If you wanna smash that round a track, EP3 type R. If you want something that's stupidly fast for the road, comfortable, feels like you're in a German car, doesn't it? It feels like you're in a brand new car. This thing's sick, man. What's this tip doing? Oh, it's a bunch of cameras, son. It's amazing. Honestly, just well happy with it. A lot of people did say that I was going to regret selling the EP3. Don't get me wrong, yesterday I could have probably topped myself off because the EP3 went. But then as soon as I saw this and as soon as I got in this and drove it, oh, the best decision I've made, I think. You weren't a big fan of the Civic because you like your comfort more, weren't you? But this just ticks every box. Comfortable, it's got LSD as standard, that's the only clue I'm giving you. LSD is standard, IBAC lowering springs are standard, so it's already set up to go fast on the road. It's had a fast road setup already done, and it's fast in a straight line. So this for the road literally just ticks every box. Anyway, we're going to get home, I'm going to show my nan, um, and then I'm going to do a little walk around video and pretty much reveal the car, but you like it, don't you? And if nan says it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Right then, I think I've kept everyone waiting long enough. It's fast. A lot of people did guess it on Patreon. A lot of people thought I'd got a Golf R. A lot of people thought I was going to get a German car. No. No, 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 no. I'm a jackman. So without further ado, I've kept you waiting long enough. Here is my new car.
So here it is, my brand new Mazda 3 MPS. Uh, this one is fairly standard. Obviously, it's just got a sunstrip. It's got a Cobb Sport exhaust and a intake. I think it's a Cork Sport intake or something like that. Been told it's roughly about 280 horsepower. So it's a very nice figure to start with. So far, obviously, I've picked this car up this morning. I am very, very impressed with it. It's very fast, very fast. Obviously, we're going to make it faster, but it's a very, very fast, amazing car for like out the box. Do I regret selling the Civic now I've got this? Not at all. I think this is absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little walk around of the car, show you a few bits of what it's got, um, talk a bit about it, and then obviously next video I'm going to go out, do a first drive video, etc, etc. So, yeah, it's a, it's like a pluorescent white. It's like a pluorescent white. It's a, it's a really, really nice colour. I'll have to try and get it in the sun, but I don't know if you can see that. It's a really, really nice colour. 80,000 miles. I'm the fourth owner. Uh, full Mazda service history, it's never failed an MOT, um, literally even came with the original Mazda keyring from the dealership, but oh, I'm so happy about this car, it's in such good condition, there's literally nothing, there's not a mark on it. Like I said, we've got the Cork Sport exhaust back here, which sounds very nice, I'll give you a couple of revs in a minute. Oh, I've missed turbo sounds. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty pretty standard car at the minute except from them couple of bits that does uh, Does open her up the interior. I'll go on to the engine in a minute, but the interior is like Luxury compared to what I'm used to these lovely wide MPS seats Armrest literally it's it's such a comfortable car. Yeah, it's like I said It's very different to the Civic and I, I much prefer this for a road car track. Yeah, the Civic but this Oh man, I'm so happy with it. It's literally such an amazing little car. Obviously we've got the Bose sound system in here, which sounds absolutely unreal. Bose sound system, and it's pretty much, that, that. that's pretty much it in there. I want to get a short shifter in it, I want to do some, uh, do some bits, but let me pop the bonnet and I'll quickly uh, talk about the engine. Another thing as well I forgot to mention, this is actually the Mazda 3 MPS Aero Edition. Um, I'm sure a lot of Mazda guys will tell me a little bit about this in the comments, but that means, I think it means it's got the, uh, the smaller wing mirrors, which when I say smaller, these wing mirrors are literally tiny, but they do the job, I guess, they do the job. So yeah, on the rear, we've got a 2.3 litre turbocharged engine. No, it's not rotary. I'm pretty sure it's not rotary. But yeah, 2.3 litre turbo. Uh, it produces out of factory. I think it's 256 horsepower. So 260 horsepower out of factory. I've only actually just noticed that sticker, but it's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not a K and an air filter. It's actually a JRL air filter. If anyone knows what that is, then let me know if it's good or bad. But yeah, I've got a little intake hose there. Like I said, I'll start the car up in a minute. But yeah, this car does produce 260 horsepower out of the factory. And obviously, I'm going to try and get some more out of it. It is a, it is a very different style car to the Civic. Obviously, it's got the four doors. It's got really, really big boot space as well in this. It's more of a family friendly car, not that I'm expecting a family anytime soon, but it, there's just room to do everything you need to do as a road car. We've even got the original Mazda floor mat, spare wheel under here. Yeah, it's literally, it, it's, a, it's a sick car. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the rest of this video. Like I said, I just wanted to do a little walk around of the car, reveal it to you all and show you what it's about. I might go find another location in a bit because I'm just out driving this all day. Might go find another location later and talk about a couple of future plans for it, etc, etc. But I hope you guys like the car as much as I do. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for a few of you to see it in real life because it really is. It's got such a presence on the road. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my new car. That's the new car for the channel and I am very, very excited. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, go for a little drive around the block. I'm not going to uh, put my foot down and get like the first, because I, I have put my foot down, but I've not properly like gave the car a bit of a thrashing. So I'm going to get that on, on video for my first reaction for a separate video, but I thought I'd just set the camera up and uh, yeah, go over a few things. So yeah, the EP3 obviously has gone. Uh, don't get me wrong, that car was an amazing car and I'll always have a soft spot for EP3s. Every time I see one on the road, I'll never sit there and think, oh, that was shit like I did my VXR. That The, the VXR just wasn't a fun car for me because of the reliability. Now, to me, 
I think this Mazda is an upgrade for a road car. If, if all I did was take my car to the track every weekend, then the EP3 is a perfect car for that. The K20 engines are absolutely ridiculous. Them engines are like, I, for me personally, you've got the 2JZ, the RB2026, and you've got the K20. I think it's up there with one of the best engines in the world because the, the abuse it can take and the power it can make is just absolutely like stupid. So yeah, I'll never ever have a bad word about the EP3. It's just what I did with my one, and I know it's. Uh, I know I wanted to do it. Um, what I did with my one, the way I made it into pretty much a, a road track car. It just didn't become nice to drive on the road. Now I know I did that myself, and I know putting it back to standard would have been fine, but. Obviously, there's no content in that. Putting a car back to standard or or doing any more bits with the EP3, there's just no content in that. So I'm very, very happy with my upgrade. I think it's a very, very good choice. Um, gonna go over some future plans probably in the next video. Um, I, I do want a lot of, uh, I do want to get in the 300 mark with this car now. I know it's very easy to do that. So once I get to the 300s, I'll probably look at doing some other bits to be fair but yeah i'm going to try and get in touch with a few companies see if they want to help me out with this build like i said i'm not going to go stupid like i did with the ep3 on this with like pretty much straight pipe exhausts and decats and stuff i think this does have a secondary decat at the minute with the uh, cork sport exhaust so at the minute it sounds perfect it, it, it literally i'll put my foot down a little bit and you can It, it does it does sound nice it, it's got a nice little grumble to it so yeah I, I, I'm very happy with it it's a very comfortable car as you can see I'm just sat quite low it, it, it's it's awesome I, I really do like it and yeah I hope you guys like it as well so yeah next video I'm gonna go on a drive take the car for a drive take it park it up somewhere have a little talk about it a bit more in depth get a good feel for it because literally I only picked it up what about five hours ago so I've just been driving it getting used to it and I, I've, I have got to be honest the handling for me this has got an lsd like i said the handling is as good as my ep3 i i, I know a lot of people that have owned ep3s and a lot of the honda boys in the comments are going to disagree with me but just drive one of these drive one of these throw it round a roundabout throw it around a country road the handling's pretty spot on but yeah anyway like I said, hope you guys enjoy the car. I'm pretty buzzing to get started with it. We're going to head down to Image Window Tinting, get it waxing away, take it down there. Andy, I know AC Alloys is going to uh, have his have his, uh, have his his fun on this car as well. We've got some things planned. But, but yeah, hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys enjoy the new car and are looking forward to the videos. And yeah, I will, uh, I will sign out. If you didn't enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.